all either ex-Catholics or still still practicing Catholics, but with no real understanding of uh, of the gospel. Yeah, and um, so um, I wrote a hundred letters to a hundred different organisations all over the world just mm -hmm. to see what would happen. I got one reply from the director of European Missions in the Assemblies of God in England. Okay. And he contacted me and, and replied and said, look, if you really feel this is God, come over to England and uh, we can meet and we'll take you into France. Okay. And that's exactly what happened. Uh -huh. And I joined, uh, I joined about four pastors, English pastors, who were going down to the south of France to do a mission in a church, but it was a teaching mission, renewal mission, rather than an evangelistic one. And so I joined, and Denise and I were just... Um, were just uh, observers, mm -hmm. really. And the pastor of the church there, um, that I, who I didn't know, he came to me and said, would you consider doing a Thursday afternoon meeting for a group of 15 ladies, older ladies, who, who come each week? And I said, sure. I had never preached in French. My French was pretty poor at that time. And it was um, quite an ordeal to prepare it. Um, I spoke and I thought the ladies were very kind to me and uh, they listened and appreciated apparently. And I, gave, and, and I had a word of knowledge at the end. And so I shared the word of knowledge. And um, it was about somebody that had a, a, a heart, a weak heart, and that I needed to pray for that person. And so I shared this and I thought, well, perhaps 15 older ladies, there'll bound to be somebody that's got a, a, a crook heart. <laughs> and uh, anyway, no one moved for a moment. And then someone came forward, and it was actually the pastor of the church, and he was due for open heart surgery. Wow! Mm. And um, and so uh, we moved on the following day. The English pastors went home, and we moved up to Paris again. We only had the name of one pastor there, mm -hmm. and we took a, motel, a hotel room, and the phone in the hotel room rang, and it was the pastor from the south of France that I prayed for, and he said, um, uh, "Look, Vince." Um, you, I was really touched by that time of prayer, but surgeons tell me I still do need the operation. Uh -huh. um, I don't know of anybody else that I would like to trust entrust the church of 400 people to in France. Would you consider coming back down immediately wow. and taking on the church for three months? I was stunned. Yeah. I said, look, I, I can't. I've got a church back in Australia that's, that's waiting for us. And he said, well, in that case, can you come back next year and do a nine-day crusade for us? Amazing. And that was the beginning, how God opened up France to us. Hallelujah. Mm. Just love that. And, mate, you, you talked about uh, uh, preaching in French. Um, 